What is going on YouTube? This is Kai. We're back with another deck profile after so long and so far. Anyways, um, the bandits just hit it and a lot of things has been changed but there's nothing much like to be surprised of. The bandits is like in our predictions since we saw the TCG's bandits back in June and it was like predicted what will be hit in our OCG bandits but there's not surprised that some of the deck that we expected to hit like dead most of the time but but they didn't die in the end, just loses consistency and of course loses a lot of components the ceiling is not that higher than usual so yes, I, some, a lot of people will be changing that, changing the formats the, the environment is starting to slow down before slower than before and a lot of decks have their chance to make their way to shine and of course some other deck is still high tier like purely mathematic, they're still playable but of course less consistency but of course, they, they are the, on the most, the most wanted radar. So, what I'm going to do today is the, do the Vanquish Soul deck profile. In my opinion, Vanquish Soul is one of the decks that I think will be do kind of well in this format because it is like a, not that high of a ceiling, but their resources, their endurance, of course, is better than normal decks. The longer you drag, the more hand you have. But you have to see what kind of style you have to play depending on the situation it's like trick stars but it's more simple to play i would say trick stars you have back rows you have floodgates and etc well for vanquish so you don't have that much back row but you can play heavy hand traps and of course while staying big monsters on the field and exchange resources with the opponent so without further ado let's get into the profile and this is the deck i'll be testing in this current format of course there will be several decks i'll be testing in a late in a week later on depending on what i feel like wanted to test so for now is the Vanquish Soul. So, so we start with the monsters and let me adjust this a little bit. So we start with the monsters, the exchange for targets, two Caesar Valleys and two Heavy Bogar. I was paying one and three, but I feel that sometimes you needed the searchable earth attribute at your hand and you wanted something that you search that is usable and not like you search and then you just did nothing. You wanted the attributes, so I change it to 2-2 two, two instead because having this on your field sometimes it will be better because it's 3k attacks you have a bigger monster on the field it allows you to stall sometimes opponent can't beat through a big mo monsters and heavy bogar is just for pushing games you can burn your life points for your opponents for 1005 during your turn and then you push for damage and then during your opponent's turn if so your opponent knows some of some things or just activate some things you active you train for burn 1005 for game that's why you need to pay this i wish i can pay three more but i just not enough slots and for the important normal summons, 3 Dr. Metlof and 3 Razen. This is nothing to be say about. They are main searchers, the spells, the monsters. This plus this at the hand is basically 2 card extended combo, I would say. This is important for interrupt things because you bounce a monster with the, attack with the lowest defense. And if opponent already has one monster, they have no chance to bounce it. This is very situational. You can play against decks like Sky Strikers or even like I would say Rescue Ace. Not really, it depends on the situation. You summon on the extra zones and Sky Strikers they're forced on the summon on the extra zone. You can pop it and force Ray to come out and then you just interrupt it with this stuff. That's why you needed it. And also it's a level this is the only normal summon you want to see in the decks that is like high values. And for the other not that important stuff is one Pluton HG and one Panta Pantera. Yes, Pantera. This is the extra ones. This is your extenders for rank force or whatever you want to name. This is your extenders, and also this is for the name and also for the summon targets. You wanted the, you wanted a fire that can be searched for Arazen except for itself. That's why you play this. And oh, you need most of the name because you want to fulfill the targets. So that's why you. I play almost every name of the deck, so you never miss out. And so for the very crystal monsters, for now, in the hand traps, the hand trap is quite a lot. I play like quite heavy amount because you wanted the attributes. Uh, Triple Ash is Pyro, Triple Maxi is Earth, and Valor for depending on the matchup because here I have a lot of the Sword Soul, Rescue Ace, and it's okay against Tier Elements if you want to use it. So I play this and. Bestials, the popular ones, Magnum 
and Drisworm. Magnum because, Magnum because you can search for Drisworm, also for Caesar Valus, it's a dragon. If you want it, you can search it. And also for tier elements. And Didi Crow for, for grave based decks, and also a dark, you can sh show it as well. On Kurikara, it's a fire, you can search it out for small row. And Nibiru for heavy combo matchups. Of course, these two can't be searched, and not can't be searched, it can't be used as a review for Rank Crystals, but you still need it for some certain matchups. Other than you have the certain matchup that that you have opening this doesn't stop your combos. You need something to f like flush board against things like Inferno Bonites or Sword Soul. Something you you don't have this or you have this. This might be okay. Or if you get called by, there's something else you can do. You have this to wipe the boards, and if they make a mini boards, you can still have this. So that's why I play as maximum as possible. You wanted to grind with your opponent with these and also review the attributes, the appropriate attributes for Vanquish Source effects. So that's why I play a lot. And that's all for the monsters. That's a quite amount of monsters for Vanquish Soul decks. Of course, you might be thinking, why play so many monsters? You need spell shots like that. Well, the, the meta game is different, especially in your locals. If your locals didn't play it, met many of a high tier decks, or I would say some are rogue decks or the decks that in the radar but not that popular you wanted to play around it of course you have to change the style and if I go for a major tournaments like uh, wild you go open tournaments or any like do this cup etc I, I might change the, the deck build like dras drastically for the spells the best spell of the arch type state your soul is doesn't have a Vanguard Soul name so you can't search it otherwise it will be broken. Review a monster from your hand and special summon from deck one Vanguard Soul monster with the same attributes. You can review a hand trap and special summon whatever you want. You can review Kurikara, special summon Razen. You can review Ash, special summon Razen. You can review Diddy Crow and Beast Chills to summon Madloof. And of course, return the hand to the main face, doesn't matter. And one. I forgot the name, Vanguard Soul Quest. Devil Pistol, I think is the name. And one continue, you only need one one. You don't, you don't want to open multiple six months per turn. You open multiple six, it doesn't do many things. Do, do many like external whatever. And of course opening this in opponent's turn is very strong as well. You link away your Razen and the opponent summons a monster and then you open this. Spe special summon Razen to the to the column that is in front of your opponent's monster and then you can force it to pop it up. And for the other like searches it's too small roll. Reinforcement Ariami, Prosperity, and Triple Tactics Talent. This is your go to cards. You need this, and this is linked to a lot of things. This is for Razen, this is for whatever, and of course, your tactics is a lot of things happen during the main phase. If it gets, if it gets interrupts, you don't have any extents or like your exchangeable target for Vanquish, so you're gonna eat the Vader, eat the Ash, eat the whatever. You need this for, for survivals. And last is the traps is one Trinity Burst. I will not play. I was not planned to play this, but a lot of times I run out of targets for Doctor Battle of the Search, and I play this instead of those two because sometimes having a trap is better. And also, this card bounces the card with the same color as the opponent's card, which is really kind of useful against a lot of the decks. Well, it spam a lot of monsters. You target one, open this, special summon two, and then bounce. The column it interrupts a lot, especially the decks that have really normal summons or they summons or special summon once per turn. You bounce them back, and then you just go away. Or they, of course, the summon the monster summoned by this effect returns to the hands during the end phase. During the end phase, you can use the exchange target to exchange with the monsters that you summon by this effects, so they don't re return to the to the hand during the end phase. So your monster stays. You can maybe not even go to summons during the next turn. Actually, go to battle phase and go for turn go for game so I like this card a lot this is the 41 cards I was not playing this but I kind of liked it in the progress and for the other last two cards it permanence of course you need a permanence and the two that can be only one the decks have lots of attributes lots of types you need some flag to help you while you can't go for a game you need something else this is something you go for go to against the decks like rescue ace Purely or even so, so this is a, this is a nice touch against that like tier elements. This does nothing. Like that's all for the main decks. Forty one for the extra decks. The extra deck is very quite simple. Of course, the three statues. You need three for grind games, and of course, sometimes you need it 
the monster at your graveyard so you can add back. You can link, you can link, aw link away on your extra monster zone and link away on the bottom, you can add it back. So you need three. And then the Link 2's, Hita, Dark, Phoenix, Cerberus, these are generics. Yeah, not much to talk about. You can play Security Dragon as well because of course the markers are nice with the statues. I played these while well, Dr. Mad Love, Rustin, and these are... You, you know what I mean. For, sometimes you need Link Clan, sometimes you need interruptions. Of course not. And for Link 3's, Selene, Nightmare Unicorn, Selene's, sometimes you can make it, sometimes you don't because you want to link line for access code. Speaking of access code, there's access codes. You can link line to this, this is for interruptions. You can summon your Vela out, it's a spellcaster, so that's why I play this. And the last link is the Underworld Goddess. Sometimes you can link 5, take a point upon the monsters, especially against Pirely, as you can clear away as Pirely Noir. This is mainly just for Noir, so other, it just depends. Or maybe one against Baguska, but this deck doesn't really fear Baguska that much. For the Axis, King... King... Tem... Tem... Temptious? Is it? Team Temptious... So... I... This is just generics. This is, this is supposed to be Baguska, but I played this because I want to search for Razans. And I didn't summon up Baguska that much. This is the replacement of Bagu Baguska. Yes, if I have, I will play this and play Baguska and replace for this. This is just options. Dweller, Dweller being Dweller, it's just being Sus. And for side decks, side decks is, depends on your locals, depends on your environment. Of course, I'm following the majorities. And yeah, two shifters. A lot of decks lo loss against shifters, so I have to play this. And also a dark. One ghost spell. This is just the last tip of tip of the iceberg. I don't know what to say, but of course it's good against Brenda. Brenda banish a lot. So you want to prevent them from Albion or even the Lubellions. It's just, it does nothing against the Mirror or even the RS, but it's good against the branded and tier elements. Of course, you're forcing them to, feel, to not returning their stuff, not to Mudora, not to Keldo. That's why I played it. And to draw for decks like Heroes, Math Max, even like Super Heavy Samurai. Yes, they got hit in the bad list. That doesn't mean we. It is the bad deck, it's, it's just lose a little bit of consistency. The decks still do a lot of stupid things. Second Nibiru and the Dogoran, of course it's a fire. Fire roll, 3000, you can small roll it out by Caesar Valius or a fire monster or a level 8, whichever you want. And Cosmic's bad roll hits, these are bad roll hits. I, this deck terrifies off Labyrinth. If you grind against Labyrinth, you have like a, a lot of times you might sleep slipping away your victory, your close call, you need this to help yourself to clear up bad rolls. Like especially, especially against like this deck, yes you can play there can be the only one, but you lose to Gozens, Rivalry, Skildrins, etc. So I, I play a lot of bad roll hits, the third impam and the dimensional barrier. This is for for extra deck matchups. A lot of decks doesn't play extra deck, it doesn't mean this like rest like against Math Max or like Rescue Ace, you doesn't you don't need this, you need these and these. So this is just extra precautions. It's better than playing Solom. Solom is just one for one. This extra, this trick is your opponent's sick the whole turn. You trade your opponent's whole turn after this, declare whatever the type they their deck play good against. You trade their whole turns better than they summon anything. You open Solom, you just trade away one card. Which is unfair to the deck because your deck doesn't generate that fast. You need to slow pace sometimes, so I, that's why I play this. So guys, that's it for the deck profile. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys got anything, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. I will reply every single one, and I'll be sh showcasing deck, another deck the following weeks eh, as soon as possible. And of course, there will be a vlog uploading soon, so hope you guys stay tuned. Is a game changer for me and it's a good news for me. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Take care everyone.